Hey there folks, how's it going? Peter here with BlackRock Business. Today, quickly, we are going to talk about the QuickBooks point of sale receipt printer, as you can see here. Let me give you a little better shot. This is the QuickBooks point of sale receipt printer. It's a unit just like this. Uh, I wanna take time quick to look inside the back. All right, we have three ports on the QuickBooks point of sale receipt printer. At your far left, you can see the USB port, uh, the phone looking port next to it that has the yellow flag next to it. That is actually, it looks like a phone cord, but that's actually going to run to your cash drawer so that it can kick open your cash drawer. And then of course the humongous plug on the other side is the power plug. And you might be asking yourself, why don't I have this plugged in right now? The answer is because we're gonna install it on this computer and when you're installing it, uh, you don't wanna hook up the receipt printer before you install the drivers. You actually wanna do it after. Otherwise, for some reason, the star printer can get stuck in this mode where it's like an unknown device. So let's go ahead and do that quick. I am going to jump to download dot blackrockbusiness.com to get the drivers for this. You can also get the drivers right off the CD that comes with it, of course. So right here under QuickBooks POS hardware drivers, I'm gonna choose the Star TSP 100. Now it's gonna download and I'm going to open the zip file. All right, so we open the zip file. You're gonna to wanna to unzip the contents to somewhere on your computer. Most computers are going to have a drivers folder right on the C drive, and we can put it right there if we'd like. So I'm gonna call this TSP100. There we go, just unzip all of that in there. All right, now that it is unzipped, I'm going to just open up that folder and do auto run.exe, which will start the Star Micronics installation. A lot of computers will pop up that you need direct play install. So go ahead and install that feature and it might need to restart your computer. All right, so I have now finished restarting my computer, a monumental task in itself, and I'm back up and running. So I'm gonna go back and do the auto run again in the folder where we unzipped everything. I'm gonna hit installation and I accept. I'm gonna hit yes. Now it is installing. Once again, of course, we don't have the printer plugged in yet. I'm gonna go all the way through the setup and install. I'm gonna do the typical install and it's gonna install everything. All right, now it's coming up. It's gonna ask us if we wanna use the cloud receipt something or another from Star. I'm just gonna say no. I'm gonna uncheck that and hit finish. And then I'm gonna exit out of the installation here. All right, now that I'm done installing the drivers, I'm going to plug in the power of the receipt printer. Let's see, you know, into the power plug. Pretty easy. And once I'm done plugging in the power, then I'm going to plug in the USB. Of course, you can plug in the cash drawer now as well if you like. Now we've got a green light on the front there. And I heard something was detected on my Windows computer. So I'm gonna go on the start menu to control panel. I'm gonna go to view devices and printers. Scroll down here. Now here we have it, perfectly installed, no problems, star TSP 100. And jumping back to the point of sale, I go on the file menu to the hardware setup wizard and jump down to receipt printer. 
Now I'm going to find my star TSP100, go to next, and I'm going to print a test page. And it's going to spit out a bunch of garbage that just says test on it. I don't know if that focused or anything. And then I say test is successful, next, next. Uh, I guess on this screen, if you have a cash drawer attached, you could choose that star TSP100 and test the cash drawer. I don't have that right now, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to go back to none, and I'm going to leave. Now, if I go to my sales history, I could look at a past sale, and I could hit reprint. And it's already on the TSP100 because we installed that as the receipt printer. And there you have it. We are printing receipts. Well, my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. Thanks for coming along on installing the QuickBooks Point of Sale Receipt Printer. Don't forget to check out some of the links below. We got a few QuickBooks secrets there. And then, of course, jump on over to Facebook and join our QuickBooks POS Knowledge Group, where you can ask a fellow Point of Sale user, such as yourself, their opinions on different situations or errors or problems. My name is Peter. Have a great day.